But first, when public officials and government workers get in trouble and lose their jobs, you're not done with them. You're still paying their pensions for years to come. News 13's Alex Goldsmith shows you why New Mexico's laws give criminals who violated your trust such a nice departing gift. Alex? Jessica, this issue has come up again after Tax and Rev Secretary Demesia Padilla resigned last week amid a tax evasion and embezzlement investigation. Turns out, even if she's ultimately charged and convicted, her pension is safe. It's very frustrating. Former State Senator Manny Aragon and former Secretary of State Diana Duran have a lot in common. Both are elected officials who were caught stealing money. Both serve time behind bars. And both still get a monthly pension check from the state. Vicki Harrison is with nonpartisan watchdog Common Cause New Mexico. The thought that somebody can use their position of power to benefit themselves monetarily and then go on and collect a pension is just wrong and everybody knows it. In 2012, lawmakers approved a bill aimed at cracking down on public corruption. But that law only goes after an official's salary after the time they committed their crime. And it only applies to elected officials. That means Jason Wagner, the Santa Fe cop, caught padding his time card, still keeps his pension. If the current embezzlement and tax evasion investigation into tax and rev secretary Demesia Padilla leads to charges and a conviction, her pension is safe too because she's a governor appointee, not an elected official. It should apply to any public official, anyone who's getting paid by the public. A pair of bills that would expand the law were introduced by lawmakers on both sides of the aisle this year, but neither got far. Harrison hopes public outcry is loud enough for lawmakers to make this a priority during next month's session. We are never going to attract new businesses. We are never going to fix our economy unless we clean it up. A separate state law does allow for judges to be stripped of their pensions if they're removed from office for misconduct. Back to you. Alex, now if the feds go after someone on corruption charges, they will go after a pension. You'll recall Manny Aragon has to give up part of his pension to help pay back the government money he stole as a state senator. 